Hey, it's Crick Couch. I'm Michael. And I'm Skylar. And Skylar is very upset that this crack wasn't something. Yeah, we're playing Shadowgate. Yeah, it's Shadowgate. And Skylar's upset that this crack wasn't something. So much so that I was itching my ear. All right. mm-hmm. Wasting our time. Yep. Mm-hmm. The game told us that, not me saying that, but we're wasting our time. Okay. <laughs> Anything else in this room? No. Uh, no, that one's done. We've basically taken care of those two spaces. <clears throat> okay, now this was... Here we go. So... You put the talisman in there go, or something? No, we're going to put oh. our sex toy in it. Okay. Go here. Please, the building. <laughs> That's that not what that looked <laughs> like at first. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Suddenly, the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. You are startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that has formed at your feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I want to... Like, it looks like a fork. This hand and that hand... We're, we're having some, uh, I think we had some miscommunications between our artists here. Like, what? Yeah. The wand is in hand. As you take the wand from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The whole thing closes up as if, as if it had never been. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Now we're going to go back. <clears throat> and this is one of the, like, this is another one of those, once you got to this point in the game... Hey, what's up there, buddy? I love, I love how he's holding that spear, like... It's, tip for a tip. Uh, no. I'm just gonna move back here, and... Where are we going? <laughs> All the way back. And actually, I could have taken that, that shortcut, but it doesn't really matter, because it's... All right. Going here. Here we go. We're back at this room. Okay. This is what I was saying by like this is that kind of point where like this this probably stopped a lot of people because oh god I don't even know if it's the right bottle to okay bottle two on self immediately begin to rise in the air what indication so, did that bottle give you that it you, there's you just have to experiment all you know is you need to like lose weight to get across the bridge a giant snake right. confronts you in the small cave. <laughs> But you also don't know that the bottles are the way you yeah, do that. I don't. Yeah. I don't think. Well, maybe if you looked at them. I don't yeah, know. I don't. We'll we'll do that actually in a second just to see. Um, for the sake of ease, because we have so yeah. many items at this point. Ooh. Um. Oh my God! If I can find it. We just picked up the wand. There it is. All by itself at the end. All right. So let's look at the wand. It's a wand of sorts. Carved on the side of the wand is a small picture of a serpent. Okay. Yep. So it's another one of those. You like you you really are meant to just examine everything. The snake begins to shake and shudder. That is the wrong. Sorry. Word. That's the wrong shudder. I speak to Mike a little. It's supposed to be two D's. <laughs> shudder. <laughs> what? I was being weird. Is the like shudder <laughs> and shudder? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, but is it just your eyes or is it shrinking? No, it is definitely not just my eyes. And then he exploded into fucking and turns brains. into a staff. Oh, a lot of things have done that. Yeah, actually. it grows. The serpent in statue begins to change. It grows smaller and smaller. It dematerializes and forms anew as a staff of tremendous beauty. Cool. Mine. Yeah. The staff is in hand. Remember, five to find, two or one, or three or one. And there's something about a blade, a staff, and an orb. I don't remember the rest of the rhyme, but it's a blade, a staff, and an orb. Where's the orb? Uh, we haven't gotten to it yet, but we did get to the... Um... Oh, God damn it! I keep not taking the shortcut. We did get to the, the blade, though. That was in the room with the wolf lady. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That was... Yeah, the blade was like... It has the weird cylinder and the two... Like opposing arced blades. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? You want gold coin? You want gold coin? Do you need those gold coins, or are you just? Uh, <clears throat> actually, you uh, you do. <laughs> you need at least one, or you lose the game. Really? Yep. Um, just gonna just gonna do this. <laughs> it's like not again. Why does this keep happening to me? I'm just trying to get some money. Do you know how expensive it is to, to maintain this bridge? And the products I need for my gorgeous Did you locks. see this main? Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to deal with this guy. It's the royal throne room. Okay. 
Although he looks dead enough, this royal skeleton sends shivers down your spine. There seems to be something in his hand. Oh, really? Is it an axe? Or a halberd? I, th I think what this is... I don't... Hmm. I think what this is supposed to indicate um, is that there's not something in his hand. I don't know if that is like just a poor translation or what. Um, but like you're not supposed to pick up anything from him. No, you're actually not. Um, mm. You're supposed to give him something. You give him that's the weird. the kingly scepter, and that's what I was saying. Like I don't know if that's a miss. I, I don't know actually if if maybe the original worded it that way or something else, but like as soon as you give the scepter to the skeleton, the seal on the pillar lowers. You can now say a ring shaped hole. That is probably the most overt clue yeah. we've gotten at all. So clearly we're gonna put the bone in there. No, we're we're gonna put the put ring your in there. Bone in the hole. Uh, yeah. we already did that outside yep. and it got sh it shot by lightning. Page. The ring was on the last page. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. I got you. Like, I have a microphone in half of my eye, so... Uh, yeah, me too. There we go. Did he scoot back? Yeah, his uh, his throne moved backward. And now we're gonna... So go. is he like the king, or... Oh, you didn't go down? Nope, I didn't. I uh, went the wrong way. Uh, he is not the king. He is a king. A dead king, I guess. Ah, more torches. Yeah, this is they, they clearly sweet, sweet torch. Yeah, this room is where they were like, mm, maybe you need some more. Is that ground or is that lava? It's dirt or okay. something. You seem to be wasting your time. We're just not gonna bother with that left hole because it kills us. What's in it besides death? That's it. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Without thinking, you jump through the opening and immediately hear a loud click. Suddenly, the granite slab above you gives way. It crushes you beneath it. It breaks every bone in your body. Wow. Once again, I can't hug you because you have no underlying <laughs> support structure. You are now pancake. You dick. All right. We've got gargoyles here, and we got this thing. Uh, he's kind of Swimming crazy. would not be wise. Oh, okay. Michael, <laughs> why does my guy always yell ah! right before it? You're a brave warrior, but stupid. Your body explodes as you plunge into the lava. Jesus. <laughs> you heard it. Still no hugs. You exploded. Yep. Yep. You don't want to get ash on my robes. I have to be very careful with that. Well, I mean, I guess he doesn't want to get ass on his robes anyway, but. <laughs> I mean, who does? hate it when I accidentally rub when, ass when I on get my ass robe. on my robe. Yeah. This huge statue is made of precious metals. It holds a basin of smoldering coals. Hmm. Um. Yeah, this is th one of the things that was like really interesting about this era of games was there was also kind of an expectation that you were taking notes and writing things down. My dad used to do that when he would play certain games. Yeah, and this was actually fairly common with... Um, Motare. Yeah, because the statue lowers on a large platform, rises out of lava, you now have a way across. When we got the Motari spell, it mentioned some stuff kind of vaguely about this, effectively, room. Um, and uh, that... Uh, so you have to remember that, and that's why, like, you know, writing things down and taking notes. You know, it's kind of funny because, like, a lot of old NES um, manuals have lines for notes in the back of them on, like, a page. Yeah, well, they mm. kept that up until, like, N64 and stuff, too, honestly. Oh. Let's, clearly, we should just... Nope! <laughs> he woke the sleeping Whoa. guard from his beauty sleep. He decides to eat you for breakfast. I am sleeping beauty. So hungry. So don't do that. Yeah, would you uh, get your phone out? Because you see those little levers there, right on the side. Yeah, you need the thingy. Yep, I got to do the little code. Hold on. But oh, I took two pictures. Uh, just shut your ears. Let me see the picture. Yeah, yeah. It'll be easier. So they start that way. This is the bit. We're just gonna. 
Well, I thought Woo-hoo. it was going to take you longer to find the picture. No. And then I just wanted to s- badly sing Yak and Scree! The cylinder lifts with a shuddering sound that doesn't wake the giant, like, butt yeti from over there that fucking ate me before. Butt yeti? <laughs> You're momentarily dazzled as the darkness is lit by a blinding flash. We're like the yetis that live in the snow, except we live in <laughs> we butts. Live in butts. <laughs> yeah, same thing, you get a, you know, your ass close. Yeah, I, got a, a, I got a lot of blubber to protect me from the butts. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what did you pick up? An orb. Okay. So now we have, oh, okay. we have the staff, the blade, and the orb, so yeah, we can actually put these together now. Wait, what? Well, we need to. That's the. That's so. You know, going back to that idea of writing them. things down, you know, the whole, and actually we still have that scroll. But yeah, five to find three or one. Three that or the one. whole point here is that three or one. So blade goes on the staff. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash in the room. Then the golden spike slides smoothly onto the staff and locks into place. It's not supposed to lock. That's not how that's supposed to go. We put the orb. Light cascades through the room as the staff becomes a living entity. Well. What? What you expected hasn't happened? Then why is it a living entity? What a dick. I love that. So the whole five to find and three or one essentially is there are five things you have to have in basically the final spot to get through. Three of them are the things that make the staff. And then there's two more things that are necessary in the room right before the last boss. Which we have. We have. Yeah, we have. Uh, so these little gargoyle guys, how you doing? Look at you. The stone statue is some three and a half feet tall and ugly as all heck. <laughs> yeah, it is very cold to the touch. Oh, I can touch it? Apparently. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, if I can touch it, I can hit it. So it fucking kills you. What? You- what? <laughs> what you expect it hasn't happened? She just, she just like, check it. And oh, then- there they go. What? Whoa. The beasts begin to shudder and their eyes begin to glow red. The gargoyles, angered at your presence, spring from their frozen state and rip you to pieces. There's not enough left of you to feed the birds. Holy shit, they minced you. (laughs) You're just like a fine mist. I can hug mist. (laughs) The Grim Reaper just like walks through the pink cloud. No one. It's like, I'm used to hugging nothing and that's kind of, I'm back to square one, really. This is very sad. Do you have to deal with these guys? Or? Uh, this is another one of those, do you remember what we read about one of the spells uh, what? situations? What was the spell? Uh, it was the Illumina. Okay. And I went the wrong direction. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. And so we will speak Illumina. Suddenly, the cavern is so bright that you have to shade your eyes. It takes you a few moments to regain your senses from the Nova Burst. It seems the gargoyles were also affected and haven't yet recovered from the spell. The Nova Burst? The Nova Burst. Oh, those little gears. Yeah. I'm just going to turn this little crank right here. The cover of the well is open. Obviously, we should just you know jump down the well. On the way down, you see no water below. The well was deeper than you imagined. You have just broken every bone in your body. That's that's just so much of this game. Everything breaks every bone in your body. Mm -hmm. You doing all right there, buddy? Yeah, I sure am. I'm just I'm hanging in there. We got to do this. Well, this this is this is gonna be the last episode. Okay. Well, yeah, we're 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 good. Yeah, there you go. Get get excited. Get excited. I don't know why I'm like drifting off. (laughs) About to. It's been a long board. week. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Open the fucking... Um, so... It always trips me whenever... You, like, I think something bad's gonna happen whenever yeah. you light a torch. Yeah. Just because it's got this, like, very jaunty music until you light the torch. And right, then it all goes pause. silent. Well, that's because it has to use the sound channel for it for whatever yeah. reason. Uh, okay. So... What? Big coin. There we go. What's the big coin? So the big coin with a well engraved on it. Yeah. Every so okay. y'all, y'all can't see this, but every time I look at something and it has the hint, he's just like shaking his head because 
As soon as you throw the coin into the well, a huge wind erupts from within it. It reminds you of small dust devils you see in autumn months. That door, by the way, is jammed shut over there. So. Okay. So now we'll head on down. The swirling winds carry you down the deep well and set you gently in the cavern below. Okay, cool. You stand above a beach looking down upon a river. And then you hit the gong. And then we use this on the gong. After the gong sounds, Whoa. a specter materializes right before your eyes. The ghostly ferryman doesn't look friendly. You hear a faint voice ask for a fare. <laughs> Wait, speak to him? Is it? It doesn't seem to understand what you say. Okay, well... <laughs> I seem like, like, do we just speak the wrong language? Uh, yeah, it could be it. We speak Tarek or something. I wonder, I wonder if copper coins work on this guy. Nope, he's pissed. <laughs> Are you fucked? Uh, probably not. Oh. Yeah. And it should be a gold coin this time, you bitch. Yeah. Hey, cheapskate. Do you do this on dates? <laughs> Fairman takes Did the coin and actually have to put quickly. it. Yeah, you put it on, use it on him, and then. Well, no, you put it like right in his. Oh, uh, I actually, you know, I just kind of did that. I don't know if I actually need to. Whoa. You climb aboard the tiny raft and soon reach the opposite bank. A stone skull stands against the far wall, screaming silently. For some reason, you get the feeling you are standing on sacred ground. So here's where the uh, the two, the last two things come into play. So clearly, like if you remember the shape of the talisman, we've got the like starburst yeah. or whatever. And the book said something about putting it in the sword. I believe if we put it in one of the other ones, the ground falls out from under us, and we probably break all our bones. Great. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in there. It's the bladed sun. The bladed sun. So. Uh, and then we have to blow the horn. Okay. Which was another thing in that book. Um, so. I that might be. Yeah. There's. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The sound of the horn echoes loudly in your ears. Suddenly you hear the sound of a grind of grinding rock. The jaw of the skull begins to descend. Hot wind erupts from the mouth, creating the illusion that the stone skull is alive. It just, just so farted it just farted on me. <laughs> the is that cavern the wizard that you, again? The, no, that's that's the boss. That's the oh. warlock lord. The cavern that you have entered is by far the largest your eyes have ever gazed upon. Oh shit! Lightning! Whoa! Look at him! He Look at him! Looks doofy. <laughs> the depths rises the most powerful creature that has ever existed. The behemoth! <laughs> Your stomach knots up as you stare at this new horror. It looks like it's missing its skin. Yeah. The beast is indeed incredible. You would not believe how sensitive everything is. Ah, this is. Mortar. Mortar? Murder? Murder? Torture? Well, no, he's I like kind of like conflated torture murder. How can you defeat a creature I'm such as of, this? Remember the Venture Brothers, the human torch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he said he's like a creature that's um, missing his skin. Or it may, well, and then there's the invisible woman who makes her skin go yeah, invisible. Yeah. You just see like the muscle underneath. You know, clearly the best, best way to do this is to start experimenting with bottles on ourselves. Wait, really? You swallow the viscous liquid. It's like drinking tar. Okay, that did nothing. Why is this the best possible? I don't know. Because we, we didn't actually do it. What the f... Glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle... Oh, okay, so you notice that yeah. the bottle is impossibly light. So that's how you're supposed to know. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Nope, nope. I don't want to do that. What? Okay, it's best if you don't light the bottle on fire. What does this bottle look like? This is like... Like the warlock lord just like, what are you doing over here, you asshole? It's a small black bottle with a cork on top. Is he is he seriously just over there drinking? So <laughs> if you're if your torch goes out now, it's sweet as sugar. Oh yeah, you still die. <laughs> Even though there's six torches lit in front of you or five. I mean, we could wait around. No, but I don't no, want that. Yeah, just... No, it's. <laughs> So, so what are you supposed so, to do here? So none of those. Well, hang on a second. We okay. put the staff together. Yeah, there's a pretty big indicator that like. Oh. Okay, this bottle. Okay, one of these bottles. I. F hang on, let me try this. All right. Bottle two. What? It won't actually let me use another bottle two on myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does bottle one do? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, well... Did he just kill himself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I like the... <laughs> yeah, like, you fucking go to the... <laughs> you're confronting the warlock lord. Yeah, like, just like, hang on. <laughs> you know, that's kind of like raid bosses in MMOs, though, where, like, the party's just sitting there with, like, a, like food on the ground and, like, drinking Having all their potions and stuff. And, and there's just, like, the worst thing on the planet is, like, I'm gonna let him drink. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be better that way. <laughs> All right, so we've got the staff. So what should we use the staff on? Use it on the behemoth. Yes. You pray as you raise the staff of ages that it has the power that the prophets claimed. The staff pulsates with power and a beam of light explodes from it, striking the behemoth. Pew! Poof! Oh no! Whoa, that hurt, man! My fucking skin! Did you just grab the warlock? This piece of shit skinned me. <laughs> it just like descends by slow move. It, you could see yeah. it on the, the yeah through the transparency. Yeah. The yeah. creature screams in agony, thrashing back and forth in great pain. In his rage, he grabs the warlock lord and descends into the depths forever. You can hear the warlock lord screams fade into silence. It's like the Howie scream. <laughs> Suddenly, it is very quiet. A beautiful light seems to fill the cavern. The morning sun, you say to yourself. It is over. Although exhausted, you lean on the staff of ages and begin your long journey home. Oh, you were <laughs> like a badass knight. You're not blue, yeah. though. Well, look at those guys' Hold legs. Hold the phone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Word of your leggy, historic leggy, leggy. quest has already reached the farthest parts of the land. What's going on with the king there? Oh, is that supposed to be like a lady It's his him? daughter. Okay. You are triumphantly greeted as you enter the gates of the royal city of Stormhaven. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Moments later, you are ushered into the royal palace where you are greeted by the king and his two genetic freak guards. <laughs> look, look at their feet, or lack thereof. They're actually, like... I know what the hell has done, like those brave one. Stan those, like, stencil -like yeah. leg things. Yeah. The world would be dark forever without thee. Oh, God, that's right. You have to wait because this is the slowest thing in the world. Wait, something's happening? Yes, there is. <clears throat> you are bestowed a kingdom to rule and the king's fair daughter's hand. No, this is just the narrator. Like, oh yeah. Oh, hey, you're married now. As you leave the throne room, you know that although this quest is over, others await. After all, the bards will need new legends to sing of and new tales to tell. The first stories end. Was there another, like, Shadowgate? Uh, there was kind of another Shadowgate. There was, uh, what system was it on? It was terrible. Like, they turned it into, like, a... Oh, God, it was, like, one of those th CD, I think, failed CD systems, like the 3DO or one of those things. Oh, no. No, it was, or Turbo Graphics, maybe. It was awful. Um, there have been other Shadowgates, though. Like, there was, um... There was a remake of this that was kickstarted a while back, and you can get that on Steam. And uh, it sounds like I'm advertising for Shadowgate. There was a Shadowgate 64. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't remember if it being that great. Um, there was some weird first-person like exploring yeah. game I played on N64 that was hard. But so uh, this was Shadowgate, and so ICOM has two other games. Actually, there's Deja Vu, which is kind of like a detect. You, like you wake up with amnesia, and it's sort of a detective noirish kind of Can thing. We play that. Uh, and then there's Uninvited, where you wake up after a car crash, and your sister's missing from the car, and you go into a mansion, and it's a haunted mansion. Can we play that? We can. Yeah, I think I think would probably be good to do some uh, some faster paced games. You know, I mean, this was this is like pre fairly short, but yeah. Do something so a little quick, but then maybe like around Halloween time or something, we'll do uh, uninvited, depending on when all this shakes out, or maybe a little after. I don't know. We'll kind of yeah. have to decide on that. This is pretty cool, though. Yeah. So I hope actually never really played a lot of these point-and-click adventure games. So this is kind of fun to to go through. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next game. Shadow Gate. The last dinosaur. <laughs> He's my friend and a whole lot more. What was the lyric? Was it oh, yeah. My and my balls, balls are sore. <laughs>